Good morning, uh, Saturday morning. I'm Will from Wills Electrical Services, also known as whatever. Uh, today is, uh, what we've done is we've done these units uh, last year or the year before. And what it was is each of these units have all got their own supply, their own fuse board and stuff like that. But this actual cupboard here, because what, if you just pan to here, Evs, is that this, this kitchenette here, showing that, it was supposed to be in this, in this, but for some reason they decided to have two toilets. And when we already wired it, we actually put the consumer unit in this, in, you know, we had to think on our feet and obviously get a uh, support of the builder is that we actually put the consumer unit in here. So these, these units, they never knew if they were gonna individually uh, rent them out or whether it was just gonna be, but so luck would have it is that they've rented this cupboard out to that unit, which is a separate business. So. We've got to move all this, so if you show them all that. So we've got to move this fuse board. With what we've got, we've got an adaptable box with a dim rail, with all dim rail connections. We was going to use the whisker ones, but they never, uh, the whisker uh, thing, but we never got delivered, plus we needed two. And they're about 70 quid, and uh, I think it worked out to be about 40 quid with it, with it all. And we've got to move all this data stuff and all that. It's an absolute nightmare. I've been dreading it for weeks. And the fuse board is going to go there and all the data points up there because that's where these tenants want them because they're going to have the router on a the shelf there which we've got to put a nice old chill up on I'm shattered because I was at football last night. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to cut, we're going to cut an access hole there, an access hole there and an access hole there. And then rather have all funky shit going up in the ceiling, we're literally going to run an armoured between them. And then we're literally just going to, re, you know, just have that as a junction box and that. So if anything ever goes wrong, at least we've got access, yeah? Bosh. And that is the way we're going to do it. Yeah? Bosh. And Mike, that is a shit weekend for you. Right, so quickly, we've just got this all stripped out now. So uh, basically, I'm going to drop this off. This was in tails because the actual switch fuse is literally just behind this wall. So it's going to go there. So what we're going to see is if we've got the capacity, if not, because I've got to bring an armoured now through through here. So I might even uh, just run a dummy bit up there just to hide that and the extra cabling because it's quite a, it's quite a bit. It should be, should be enough in that bit. But if I've got to run that across just for that, just to make it off, then I'll do that. Right, we'll get this off and then we'll have a little look, yeah? I'll put a picture up by, yeah. Uh, we're, we're obviously rushing because it's the weekend, so uh, I'll, take, I'll put a picture up now of uh, what it was like before. Done a real nice job. Right, so we got all this stripped out. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to run another one down there for the uh, all the power and then enough one just for all the data. So we're just gonna marry them up and have uh, all the jelly connectors here. Probably not the best way of doing it, but uh, at the moment that is because uh, that's the way we're gonna do it. And then uh, that's gonna come down there, and then an adaptable box there. So it looks like it's gonna be right. Yes, yes, so we've just got Epsi. So what we're gonna do is do it nice and slow. Uh, we've got a stub buddy, which is basically a magnet. So we're gonna try and find where we can find the joists. And then what we're gonna do is uh, literally, uh, literally what we're gonna do is just uh, mark it up with mark, mark, masking tape. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting the holes. We did have a uh, stud buddy, but it, unfortunately we can't really find any screws, which is, is a bit bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that adaptable box as a template quickly draw around it then quickly do it with a multi-tool and then I'm literally going to shadow shadow uh, hoover it while Sebsy cuts it we need to get glasses as well guys yeah and then we, we use that as a template because then that should easily be big enough to at least get our head up there we, we, you know we're pretty sure the rafters go that way but I can't, we can't remember and we've had a look at the photos and we can't see so but it it's irrelevant really because even if we just overshoot it it don't matter it's got to be re uh it's got to be repaired anyway so it's not really that big a deal is it as long as we keep it all as one piece everyone should be happy you know and we've got the new multi-tool that new multi-tool that's uh the first time i've had that new fuel milwaukee one it's absolutely incredible i love it and it helps that new multi-tool is absolutely amazing isn't it it is, same as the old Lucas's old one, isn't it? 
Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So basically, what we've done is the adaptable box we're using for that we've used as a template for the holes, and all we're doing is literally just shadow hoovering it all. Oh, oh, oh. Ebbs is obviously filming me, but he's going to be on the hoover, so all that. So literally, we'll start, that off, start the hoover up then, boys. <laughs> Hands, but yeah. Yeah, do. Nice one, so that's uh, them two come through. See, look, it's all nicely clipped from before and all that, so there's no no drama when we're cutting through about getting them do down. So, we're going to come down that little bit there. Ebbs is just going to cut some of that insulation away because obviously, when we do this, the uh, the builder Andy's going to actually come and fix these holes, but obviously, he's got a fire seal all the, uh, the holes because this is a firewall, I believe. Yes. Can you see if you can hold it, like, uh, like push it out of the way? Uh, or like lift it up? Uh, that's all the room you got, just there. Oh, is it? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's about four layers. Sweet, so yeah, it's going, going all right. Bit weird for us, but yeah, it's going all right. <laughs> yes, yes, Lola's. Oh, our baby girl. So the girls are with us today as well. So basically, what I've done is I marked up this adaptable box. So we use all these whisker uh, fire grommets. So we've literally just maxed out as much as we can. So we've got two 32s, four 25s, and uh, three 20s, which would be more than enough because some of the cables we'll be able to pull back without actually going through this. So that's uh, and we're going to fit a dim rail in there and we've got a load of the uh in there we've got a load of the actual uh, dim rails which i'll show you later on maybe today or tomorrow and that's what's going to go in there and uh we're just going to cut all them out get that all nice and sorted get that batted up ebbs is just seeing how we get through the wall we can kind of see that this is all the mains that we've done before we've just got to label all that well I say label it i've just got to put my company stickers well, i didn't think we had, we went out of them before so it's going quite well so far so let's crack on If you could do us a massive favour and show your support for the channel, like, follow and subscribe and flick my bane, it helps the channel grow. Cheers. Right, it's Sunday morning, so uh, I'm here on my own, so I've just got to connect all that. So we got it all wired, got it all done. So basically what we've done is we had to do these access holes from there. I have actually got some fire sealant for where we had to bring the hole through because where the old holes were through, they were sealed and obviously there was no ceilings when it was all made, so we've done all that. So we've got all this, so we've got all those to extend and, and uh, connect them all up there. We brought a trunk in down here, we had the access hole. We found that this light was actually, well, say we found, we always knew because there's no landlord supply. This unit done these lights and the main lights, and then that unit does the uh, the BT needed some sockets, so we got them off there. But we just had to uh, take this to the nearest emergency light to get the feed, which luck would have it, it was also circuit nine as well on that side. So we done that. I've just got to put that away into that switch. I was just, uh, last night, we just wanted to get home. So I've just got to sort that out, bring that down with a 240. Got to get rid of that. I probably got, can't make the armoured land off into that, but we were going to banjo the other end. So there's not really a lot I can do with that. My hands are tied. And then what we've got is we've got this adaptable box where we've got like dim rails to go in it as well. The wholesalers didn't actually have the uh, whisker ones, but the actual whisker ones are uh, are uh, something like 75 quid. And I think at the time, because we didn't know we could pull half the cables back, we needed two where Paul worked it out, the adaptable box and the uh, and the dim rail connectors is 45 quid for the whole shebang. So it's ain't worth thinking into, you know what I mean? I know it's like 45 quid. Well, it's not 45 quid because it would have been 140. So nearly 100 quid difference. So obviously I'd advise you to do the maths on how much your savings it would cost. But on this account, it's loads. Plus we didn't really have a choice. So... Right, I'm going to crack on with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way in an order. So I'm going to get this board done. Then I'm going to get this done. And then I'm going to go in there 
and get that done. So hopefully I sh it should be a nice day. I've kind of got a day off tomorrow anyway. So I've got a, a business line going in at home. So I've got to be at home for that. Right, let's get into it. Yes, yes. Well, I'll just quickly show you. I've, I've done in here now. So basically what we've got there is the socket. We've got all the ports which are everywhere. Um, the board's done now. That's, that worked out really well. The only trouble was I couldn't find my uh, croning tool, so I had to go down to toll station and get one, which, oddly enough, where my one's so rough and old, look, there it is, there it is. Oh, where my one was so rough and old, that this one's like uh, absolute blinding. The only trouble is they gave us that, the builders gave us that, and look, all that's got going there, so I've got to sort all that out before. Still got this bit to do. It's quarter to 22. Two, but I've I kind of resigned that I'm going to be here all day anyway. So then we just got this bit. So I want to repair the ceilings. I want to repair the ceilings and I want to tidy up out there. So it's just this bit. So I'm not everywhere shit. You know what I mean? So let's crack on. Let's get on with it. I bet the next time I'll show you it'll probably be dark, heavy, a nice summer's day. Well, summer's day, nice February day. It's lovely and warm. Lovely and warm out there. I tell you very refreshing the builder and that live on the site next door and they just they're just going down a pub you know what i mean it's like brilliant cheers right so i'll just quickly show you what i'm doing in here so basically this is the adaptable box and um, what we're doing is we're just putting all dim rails connections in they're 25s i didn't have an in cap for that but i had a spare one so i just put that around the wrong way well the opposite way i don't know what up or down is but we've got all those i think it's about 30 odd that's going to go in there it's a bit hard to dress because i'm trying to get the cable so the cables that were in the old board we're putting in the top and then the bottom ones we're put, we're hopefully swinging around i'm just trying to pl plot it out a little bit because i might have to swing some cables around there but it's never going to look too clever but it is what it is and the reason i've put the earths on the end is because the end cap i have got the end caps for these because obviously these dim rails are uh, are all uh, one side is always open unless you've got the end cap which i have got end caps for this little one that's them there but these are all 32 amp can you see it the old dinosaur hands so these are all 32 amp uh, four mil so the biggest cable we got is two five so that's how we're gonna do it but that's all done in there we've just got to sort all this data out and all that i've done i'm done around here that's all sorted i've still got to sort that out but the board's all done the data's all done the ceilings are all repaired we're just getting there it's four o'clock now so i reckon i'm gonna be here to about eight o'clock but it is what it is you know what i mean once it's done it's done and it let's get on with it right so that's all sorted now so uh i've got that it's all powered up now as well i've tried to there's quite a lot of slack in there because obviously i tried to keep as much as i can but that's all sorted so i've just got to tidy and test now and i'm all sorted that's all sorted there as well right so that's all done so that's all up there god knows what's going on with all that no doubt i'm gonna have a call out for that tomorrow it's inevitable but yeah so that's all done all that's all uh, back up and running everything's working uh this is a uh transition box all labeled up now so it's gonna stay like that so obviously and that's all sorted all in all a bit of a nightmare quarter to eight but it is what it is 12 hour day but it is what it is i've got tomorrow off and I, it is a bit of a nana so it ain't all that bad Right. So let's get going. Spilled my coffee yesterday, no nightmare. Right, thanks for watching and don't forget if you're gonna be anything this week then be electric. Up the old blues. Imagine not being an electrician, sod that. <laughs>